Hi guys, Pastor Janet again. I told you I'd be back to make another video here. So, I've been busy today, so I'm just dressed casual, not dressed up enough, hair, makeup, or anything. But, this is important. So I wanted to tell you that if you're the type of person that when people need to know how to say things right, that they come to you and say, can you help me with this speech? Can you help me write this paper? Because you always know the right thing to say. And you want to write, but you're thinking, I don't want to write a novel. I don't want to write children's books. I don't want to write fiction or nonfiction. But you enjoy helping people. So now that's what we're going to talk about today. Maybe you want to be a person that writes for other people. That's a really rewarding thing. Like I said, many times when you see people on, on the TV or they're up giving speeches, they didn't write that speech. Someone wrote it for them because they knew the right words to say to move the audience. Words move people either to a good side of doing things or a bad side. Words can cause riots. And you can see that from watching TV and stuff like that. It causes riots. If they say the right thing, they know how to agitate people. Certain words agitate and certain words inspire. So if you're that kind of person, then maybe that's what you want to do. Okay, so, like I say, you know, you still, if you're going to do that, you still have to realize you still need to know grammar, punctuation, spelling. All that stuff is important. No one wants a person to write a speech for them and the words are wrong. The spelling is wrong. The punctuation is wrong. So all that is important. So that's one area of writing that I want you to think about. If you would like to be a PR person for public relations, that you know how to deal with people and you want to write for them and help them get the best, you know, way to reach people for what they want to sell or produce or a cause and effect then maybe that's what you should think about doing so that's one area of writing now, tomorrow i'll be back with another one see you then bye bye now pastor janet